oil pan did not fit because it was a right hand dipstick instead of a left hand dipstick um, so I had to order another pan um, the pan that I tried to put on <clears throat> is one that the customer had and he brought in and thought he thought it would fit but it does not fit <clears throat> so um, that little bit is on hold for right now for a few days until the pan gets here um, so I proceeded to uh, bolt the heads on so the, the cylinder heads are on um, I just got the push rods in today because I had to measure after the heads were bolted on I had to measure to uh, um, get the proper length push rods um, so I got that um, the lifters are in the block I cleaned all the lifters up um, soaked them in oil before I put them in um, even though they're a solid roller lifter um, they come with a, a, a grease that they put on it to keep them from rusting when they assemble them um, ISKI uh, tells you in their instructions to clean all that off of there and then before I put them in the motor why well, I put them in a little pan and put oil in it and let them sit there for an hour or so and let them soak and then I put them in the block so I got the lifter lifters in the block um, I got two of the push rods in with a pair of rocker arms on on a cylinder head because I had <clears throat> gone through all this in my assembly when I was mocking it all up um, checking the height of the, of the rocker arm in relationship to um, the valve tip you want to make sure that the roller rides in the center you don't want it riding off off the front edge of the, of the rock of the valve tip or the back edge um, and I'll show you how you check that um, so I'll bring it over to the motor and uh, we'll have a look be right back all right we're back over at the motor now um, the timing covers on you saw that in a video the other day um, put the timing pointer on it and um, before I put the heads on I set the number one piston at top dead center and adjusted the pointer here because the pointer has little screws in it you can adjust it and put the balancer on and uh, <clears throat> we're going to rotate this um, one one revolution and then uh, We'll pull, pull the rock arms off and we'll double check to see, I'll show you what I'm talking about, with how the lifter, how the tip of the roller rides um, in it. Um, as you can see right here, right in here, that's the roller. You want it staying in the center of the the valve stem tip um, you don't want it coming past falling off the edge in the front or the back side <clears throat> you want to stay right in the center it'll be a, a line probably oh i don't know a 16th to an 18th eighth of an inch wide where that roller tip as the rocker moves up and down as the valve moves up and down it sweeps back and forth across the top of the rocker top across the top of the valve stem tip um, I'll pull these off here and I'll show you what I'm talking about Okay, we're back. <clears throat> um, you can see 
I just took a Sharpie marker and put a little bit of black ink on there. You can see that line right in the, just about right in the center of the, the valve stem tip. And that's where the, the, the roller sweeps back and forth. Same way with the exhaust. You can see a faint little line right there. Um, that's about perfect. That's, that's, what, that's what you gotta have. And I had checked all that when I was doing my pre-assembly and uh, <clears throat> so now I can go ahead and put all the rock arms on. These uh, rocker stands are all torqued. Um, the, there's bolts that go in and will actually, there's a hole in the intake port where the bolt can pass through. So <clears throat> what you do um, on these here, you put pipe sealing on these threads on all eight intake ports so that uh, there's no oil seepage down into, down into the combustion chamber because otherwise oil may seep past that thread and you get oil contamination on it. But these have all been torqued um, on both sides. There's the lifters right there. Um, <clears throat> And the lifters are what they call, um, it's a straight one on the intake, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's, it's a centered location on the intake, right there. And the exhaust, or the, the exhaust rather is centered. And then on the intake, um, that particular lifter right there, the push rod seat is offset 200 thousandths to the, toward the rear of the motor, so away from the, the, the intake port. Um, that's to give it clearance for the push rod to run down through the center, and that's why the rocker arms are offset. <clears throat> so, um, I'll uh, start putting these in and uh, bring you along I'll probably do a little time lapse on that we'll be right back doing how I lash valves what you do is you rotate the motor over till the intake just starts or the exhaust just starts to open 
then you know that the intake lifter is on the base of the cam <clears throat> so then you take your feeler gauge and you slide it in there it don't sh it shouldn't be real tight but it, it's just a little bit of drag it's kind of a a feel that you develop after so many years of doing it you just <clears throat> it's just got a I mean it's not tight but it's taking up all the clearance and then what you do is you continue to rotate it around exhaust will fully open intakes coming open you keep going until the intake just starts to close and then you check your exhaust That one there is actually a little bit loose. And that's all there is to it and then all the, the rockers the lobes that are all the, the lifters that are all the way down they all have the same basic feel to them and uh, that's how you adjust the rockers um, now the next thing would be to put the intake on and uh, um, I got the oil pan will be here tomorrow so I got to put the pan on and then uh, put the intake on and then I can put the oil filter and stuff on and put a gauge in this fitting right here and uh, then I can prime it <clears throat> so one step closer so I'll be right back all right we're back at the bench um, uh, that that explains a little bit how you put the rockers on and adjusting the valve lash and that kind of thing this tool that I have here this is made by LSM um, it's actually made for adjusting the valves. It's got a built-in torque wrench um, It tightens the jam nut to 20 20 foot-pounds and it clicks and uh, I've had this thing for Long time 25 years and uh, Works really good speeds things up a little bit. You never have to guess if you're getting jam nuts tight enough and that kind of thing so um hope you enjoyed that uh next part of this project is going to be uh putting the oil pan on getting the intake bolted on and uh i have to put a bronze gear on the distributor because it's a steel cam um but before i before i do that after the intake is bolted on um fill the motor up with oil and prime it and uh be one step closer the the header kit will be here probably next week monday or tuesday and then i'll I get the fun task of building headers so i hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching <laughs>